Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Approximately 11.15 in Honolulu. It is the 27th day of October, Thursday, and this is the daily report for gold and silver. We have the precious metals continuing this long upward trend. I believe we are on our fourth or fifth day in a row that we have seen higher prices. In terms of the pricing itself, we have cash gold currently 1745 roughly in that area that's putting that up about 20 silver up a dollar 72 trading above 35 dollars first i did recommend raising stops i recommended raising stops to 1709 for those in the cash market you did take a very small profit but i am sorry to say we did get stopped out there and we will look to re-enter that for those trading in the december contract we never came close on the stop and are still actively involved and trading that market now to the boards the first thing is that silver showing an incredible move today and as we talked about yesterday it was my belief at that time that silver really had a substantial opportunity and really was a strong contender to move right to 35 that was the take that i had yesterday and let's pull up the chart so you can see what i was looking at And here we are looking at a straightforward candlestick chart. It is a daily chart and it is of spot or cash silver. And as you can see, in my opinion, we are right now at a fairly critical area. This critical area is due, I believe, to what we call Fibonacci harmonics. And Fibonacci harmonics simply is where two different time cycles will come up with the same area or conclusion. And so what you're seeing is this you have a harmonics in which when we measure the top of 44 all the way down to this low right here of 2587 you get a 50 percent retracement that's right here when we look at our retracement from this top at 49 down to the bottom here you get a 61 percent retracement and we're basically doing the same thing in both places. So you have this double harmonics, which I believe is showing us some strong resistance. Do I think that the market will break through there? Personally, I do. Because silver is so highly tied to the industrial usage, as well as it being a precious metal, that with the stock market roaring the way that it has the tentative agreement that's been reached by the EU which is really the motivating factor behind these equities markets running you're going to get a double-edged sword with silver right now where do I think it could go well my personal feeling right now is now that we have taken out and traded two, I want to see a couple of closes above as I said above this particular line which is 35 Oh, 06 and we're really right there uh, anywhere between 3506 and 3530 is the area that I want to see an effective base and see the market trading above that once the market or I should say should the market go above that my next real target is going to be $38 an ounce and that's based upon a 50% retracement of this longer Fibonacci retracement sequence and that would put this market right to this area about $38 the other thing that you'll notice is that we do have support in this area from the last time it came down of course here you can see that it broke hard and broke through there but I do believe our next strategic area in silver is about $38 per ounce and now to the gold market for those that are trading the cash market i am absolutely beside myself that we did get stopped out of that i will issue a recommendation we will look to reposition ourselves because i think that this market right now has a very very strong ability to move to approximately the 40 excuse me the 17 70 area 1780 area and to do that i'm going to start by looking at this is the daily chart of the COMEX continuous contract. So right now it is charting the basic December contract. And you can see, I've had this chart up for a while. 
But what you can see here is that there's two areas that we pointed out as possible pivots, right in here and right in here, this being 1776, and that's a 23% retracement of this larger move. My sentiment is that we have effectively, effectively at this point, taken out my first target, as you can see right in here. And for that reason, I think that it's most likely now that we're going to go and take a stab at this particular target, this being 1778, and that's basis December's most active COMEX gold. The next chart that I want to look at is a cash daily chart. This is cash, of course, of our gold market. As you can see, this is starting the afternoon session here, 1745. It has easily, easily traded well above this 50% resistance area, 1726, and basis the cash, our next target is 1772, which is right in here. And as I said before, and I talked about, I believe even yesterday, our band, I'll call it, or our range is going to be between 50 and 75% of this move down, this last move down that we saw. And I think that we still have considerable room on the upside in gold, minimum 1772, as high as the low 1800s. Now, of course, we are getting a lot of push right now from the dollar itself. This is a 360 minute chart, so it's intraday. But you can see really on this intraday chart how, how uh, the dollar literally since about what the 26th, 27th a few days ago has absolutely fallen out of bed and continued this long journey down that it has had for quite some time now. When we take a look at the equities markets, this is the S&P 500, of course, you can see this is a daily chart, straight candlestick format, this tremendous move that we saw today. And interesting, when we convert this into our average chart, which is the Hankinashi, the Japanese average chart, what you're going to see is really a market on fire because you get these straight long green candles up, very few consolidating days. And what you can see with this is that this market has just been on an absolute tear pretty much through the month of October. You can see this bottom occurring right at the beginning of October and how this market has come off of these lows, what, uh, below 1080, and now is roughly 200 points higher in a period that is certainly under one month. Traders, this has certainly been a very interesting week in the markets overall, whether it's the precious metals markets, the equities markets, and the commodities markets. We have seen these markets run topsy-turvy, but the strength, the rebounds that we're seeing in the metals markets, the rebounds that we're seeing in the equities markets are exceptional. For those who are trading the silver, we're going to maintain our long silver positions maintain the stop. For those trading December gold, you're going to maintain your position, maintain that stop at 1709. And for those that were in the cash market of gold, I will send out a special notice at a point in which I feel repositioning is the best decision to make. In other words, we will look to re-enter the market. It's simply a matter of where. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap-up and review. Bye-bye.